This is not as important as a lot of farmers. It's a nice road coming in there. And uh, we'll get it all fixed up. And now I just... Uh, up a truck bed, so it did do that. Welcome back to the channel. We got a little bit of... I was going to show you a little bit on the gardens today. And um, we got to pick some Hastings. Now... It didn't have a real good season on it, guys, so it's probably not going to be a big trailer load of it. Well, we're going to pick what's out there, what the deer left me. Uh, my neighbor's over our bush hogging. Um, so it's not going to be a lot, but we'll bring you along. I want you guys, you know, you, you come along with me all year on the Hastings from plowing it, planting it, cultivating it to laying it by. So I want you to see me picking it some. And uh, well, I was going to show you the salad a little bit. Uh, it's doing good. I wish some of this grass over here wasn't in it, but there's enough in here that, you know, we can get a little rain tomorrow and pick through it, and it, it should be okay. Um, this white you actually see is actually some fertilizer that I threw on it that was wet. Uh, hopefully that'll wash off <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so hopefully that'll wash off. But, you know, hey, we want to come out here and get us a little sprig or two and be all right. So it, it'll work out, I think. Uh, we'll put some green beans in it next year. Let's see. The last time you left me, last video you see me thinning out this okra a little bit, and it, it's grown quite a bit. I come through yesterday and suckered a few. It's, it's on up to my waist now. And I suckered a couple of these. Uh, but again, I'm going to have, you know, even without suckering it, after thinning it out, I'll have all the okra I'll ever want to can. I won't can that much, maybe, maybe 10 or 12 pints. Um, but we'll save some seed off of it too, and, and that'll be that. That was just something, you know, guys, it, you know, we wanted to see if we could uh, cultivate it with the mule plows, and, and that, it worked out. I liked it a lot. But we got to get the disc off the tractor, hook up to the wagon that I'm going to put the corn in, which is an old tobacco harvester trailer. So we're going to hook that up, go up the road, and it's actually, I'll show you, I, well, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression because I got some bush hogging to do up there, but it's worth plow day. Plow day is going to be where the Hastings corn is, but not the same field as the field across from it. But right now it's got, you know, a lot of fescue grass and stuff in the fields, and we got to get them bush hogged and get the road all bush hogged, and it'll look real good come plow day. Um, let's go. So as you can see, guys, I'm kind of talking a little bit lower. We got two expert apple pickers down there. <laughs> One with a hard hat. <laughs> We're gonna to try to can a few apples tomorrow. And uh, I just think it's funny how Sammy's got a hard hat on because I told him to shake the tree and the apples would fall. We might bring you along for that video tomorrow too. All right, we'll move this. And we'll try not to bust everything loose. <laughs> yeah! I busted my belt. And my ankle. And my leg. And we gotta get that back out for the Hastings too. Mm -hmm. So, you got it? Yeah. Let me help push on this in. that better? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Sure is cumbersome doing this, but it sure does work. <clears throat> oh, 
course. <laughs> you know it every time. That's good. All right. I think I need fuel in the tractor. Guys, a couple weeks ago, I said something about um, making making a deal where I could use that carry-all on the 140, and here it is. So I use this more than I do the factory, and just because I didn't, I don't want to run wear the factory out. And also on the video uh, showing you my equipment, I forgot one thing, and some of you guys may have seen it. I got a boom pole here, one point hitch that I use for the farm all also. It doesn't pick up a lot of stuff, but I mean, I do got a video of it picking up a truck bed, so it did do that. We're going to unhook this. I'll be back in a minute.
right guys as I said before and I'll say it again I really just hope to get my seed back which was about a pound bag maybe yeah I guess it was a Ziploc bag maybe a little more and if I get that back I'm fine um, it's not going to be a whole lot of corn here I'll show you what we're facing that was that one didn't make this one got climbed up the stalk and eat off and then we got if you'll look i mean just this area here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i mean 20 of them right here 20 stalks the deer or my favorite animal a coon wrote it down and eat it here's one here that's been eat on the which it honestly it looks like it didn't really make that much anyway so what we're trying to do i mean i, I brought the trailer which the trailer may be a big overkill uh it's kind of funny now that i'm looking at it, i might could have brought me a couple of 50 pound sacks and been okay but we'll throw them in the trailer and take them to the house but we'll pull what we can let's we'll walk up through here and see what we got See, like even that, I jerked it off, but I mean, I, I wouldn't actually save that for seed, probably, but we might be able to feed a goat with it. But, you know, it's a, a lot of corn. Of course, if you take the deer away, I probably would have a little more out here, um, but a lot of corn went this way this year. I want to... And before I forget, I'm, I'm not at the end of the video yet, but before I forget, I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing. Man, I just appreciate it so much. And I, I'll be honest with you guys, plow day, and we'll lift that camera up a little bit. It's going to be out in that field right there. And we'll hopefully be able to park over there where he's pointing at now in that field. And so we just got some bush hogging to do, and I'm going to open up that little road coming in it's a real nice road fescue road um sam had it graded up and planted in fescue so it's a real nice road coming in there and uh we'll get it all fixed up and man i just uh an event like that just worries me because i you know i want everything to be right and i want the weather to agree with us because you know a lot of you guys make some plans to come out here and come up and it's raining before plow day and we can't do it you know but uh, so we want everything right so we pray for a good good weather and and just a you know a good good time with it but we'll pick a little bit i'll show you what we got uh we'll be back in a little bit all right guys i got maybe five ears in the wagon two or three four it's kind of sad a little bit you know i hate I hate that the deer eat so much of this up, but it ain't all the deer. Um, there's a lot of stalks standing, and there's a lot of stalks that just never made. They just didn't make corn at all. Um, you know, take what you can get. We can get 10 or 20 years off of it. We'll go from there. And, uh, Hopefully that side over there, it's it's about 20 rolls in this field, and I went in the middle of eight rolls right now. And you guys can see it ain't a whole lot. Will's got a few in his hand right there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go down the other one. How about those two right there, Will? Yeah. Get nothing in it. Open it up and let's see what's in it. Yeah, that's that's a decent ear. We can use that to get some of our seed back. All right, toss her in there.
Hey, there's one on my try to roll. Will you get it? Alright. hot guys all right well that's probably two or three hundred ears there can't complain with that um it'll be more than enough for seed and happy with that and guys <clears throat> don't get me wrong when i say uh, i'd like for it to be better it's just totally a i would like for it to be better because this ain't gonna make or break me I mean, there's farmers out there with thousands of acres of corn burnt up that's going to cost them everything they got. And uh, your heart just goes out to them. I mean, something like this, you know, we're just videoing it, uh, showing you, you know, what we're doing and stuff. But uh, this <clears throat> this is not as important as a lot of farmers. And I just want to stress that. that I mean, this, this is nothing compared to them. But I, I hope, uh, I was thinking the other day, watching a couple of YouTube channels. I show you guys about everything that, that I do with my garden stuff. Um, I work, if you guys know, I work off eight hours a day. So I mean, I wouldn't call my YouTube channel a vlog, but if you follow along, you can, you can see me from start of growing something to the end. And that's kind of what I want to piece together for you guys. And uh, just appreciate everybody watching. Thumbs up, comments, likes. Thank you so much. God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you on the next one.